Mind Over Money, Eight Mindset Shifts for Financial Abundance. Did you know that the average person has about 6,000 thoughts per day? That's 6,000 opportunities to shape our reality, to build our future, to carve our path towards financial abundance. But how many of these thoughts are truly serving us? How many are leading us towards financial freedom? And how many are holding us back? If that thought just made you pause and reflect, then you're in the right place. Because today, we're talking about eight mindset shifts that can lead you towards financial abundance. What is money mindset? Your money mindset is like a lens through which you view all things related to money. It's shaped by a variety of factors, including your upbringing, experiences, societal influences, and personal beliefs. And just like a lens, it can color and distort what you see. If you grew up in a household where money was always tight, you might have developed a scarcity mindset, believing that there's never enough money. This mindset can make you see the world in terms of lack and limitation. You might find yourself constantly worrying about money, feeling anxious about bills, or feeling envious of others who seem to have more. On the other hand, if you were taught that money is abundant and there's plenty to go around, you're likely to make decisions from a place of abundance and opportunity. You might find yourself feeling grateful for what you have, feeling confident about your ability to make money, or feeling happy for others who are doing well. And you know what? You have the power to choose your mindset. So, without wasting any time, let's talk about the first mindset shift that can lead you towards financial abundance. Eliminating your negative beliefs about money. Let's face it, we all have some beliefs about money that are less than positive. Maybe you've heard phrases like, money is the root of all evil, or rich people are greedy, and internalize them. Or maybe you've had some negative experiences with money that have led you to associate it with stress, anxiety, or fear. These beliefs, while they may seem harmless, can actually hold you back from achieving financial abundance. To change these beliefs, the first step is to identify them. Take some time to reflect on your beliefs about money. Write them down, be honest with yourself. We know it might be uncomfortable, but it's a necessary step in the process. Once you've identified your negative beliefs, challenge them. Ask yourself, is this belief really true? Is it helping me or hindering me? What evidence do I have that contradicts this belief? For example, if you believe that money is the root of all evil, you might challenge this belief by thinking of ways that money can be used for good, like donating to charity or investing in education. Moving on to our second mindset shift, Let's talk about a habit that many of us are guilty of. Comparing ourselves to others. In this age of social media, it's easier than ever to peek into other people's lives and compare our financial journey to theirs. A survey by the American Psychological Association found that people who compared themselves to others experienced higher levels of financial stress. Think about it. When you compare your financial situation to someone else's, you're often comparing your behind the scenes to their highlight reel. You see their success, but not their struggles they went through to get there. You see their wealth, but not the sacrifices they made to build it. It's like comparing your raw footage to someone else's blockbuster movie. And let me tell you, even if you had the full picture, comparison would still be pointless. Why? Because everyone's financial journey is unique. We all have different starting points, different resources, and different goals. To change this habit, try focusing on your own progress. Celebrate your wins, no matter how small they are. And instead of aiming for someone else's version of financial success, aim for your own. Moving on to our third mindset shift. Let's talk about a concept that's been making waves in the world of psychology and personal development. 
the growth mindset. Coined by psychologist Carol Dweck, the growth mindset is the belief that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. It's the opposite of a fixed mindset, which believes that our abilities and intelligence are static and unchangeable. Now, don't get us wrong. A growth mindset is not just about believing you can get smarter or more talented. It's more about believing you can grow in any area of your life, including your finances. Let's say, for example, you've always struggled with saving money. A fixed mindset might make you think, I'm just not good at saving money. I guess I'm just a spender. But a growth mindset would say, I may not be good at saving money now, but I can learn. I can develop better money habits. I can grow. And that's the beauty of a growth mindset. So try to embrace challenges and learn from criticism. Next up, the fourth mindset shift is recognizing the power of your thoughts. James Allen, in his influential book, As a Man Thinketh, wrote, the outer conditions of a person's life will always be found to reflect their inner beliefs. This quote tells us the power of our thoughts in shaping our reality, including our financial reality. Every action we take, every decision we make, starts with a thought. Want to save money? It starts with the thought, maybe I should save money. Want to invest? It starts with the thought, I should invest. Our thoughts are the starting point of our financial journey. So be mindful of your thoughts. Pay attention to them, especially those related to money. Are they empowering or disempowering? Abundance-oriented or scarcity-oriented? Now, let's take this a step further and talk about a powerful tool that can help us harness that power. Financial abundance affirmations. Hey, affirmations? You mean those cheesy feel-good phrases that people say to themselves in the mirror? Well, yes and no. Yes, affirmations are positive statements that you say to yourself. But no, they're not cheesy, feel-good phrases. They're actually powerful tools that can help you reshape your beliefs and rewire your brain. Let me explain. Our brains are like supercomputers, and our thoughts are like the software that runs on those computers. Negative thoughts, like, I'm bad of money, or I'll never be rich, are like bugs in the software. They cause errors and crashes. But positive affirmations are like patches that fix those bugs. They rewrite the code and improve the performance. According to a study published in the journal, Social Cognitive and Effective Neuroscience, Positive affirmations can boost our problem-solving skills and make us less susceptible to the harmful effects of stress. So, yeah, they're not just feel-good phrases. They're scientifically proven tools for change. With the sixth mindset shift, let's talk about a practice that might seem simple, but has profound effects. Expressing gratitude. According to a study published in the Journal of Happiness, studies people who regularly express gratitude and are more likely to make progress towards their financial goals. Why? Because gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have. It kind of helps us appreciate our resources rather than stressing over our wants. It definitely fosters commitment rather than perpetuating a cycle of desire and dissatisfaction. We suggest Keep a gratitude journal. Every day, write down three things you're grateful for. They don't have to be big things. Maybe you're grateful for the paycheck that allows you to pay your bills. Maybe you're grateful for the savings you've accumulated. Maybe you're grateful for the opportunity to invest in your future. Moving on to our seventh mindset shift. Realizing your current financial situation is temporary. This might seem obvious, but it's surprisingly easy to forget, especially when you're facing financial challenges. Let's say you're in debt. It's easy to feel overwhelmed and think, I'll never get out of this. But the truth is, debt is not a permanent state. 
with the right strategies, especially in today's world, and with a lot of perseverance, you can pay off your debt and move towards financial freedom. Financial guru Dave Ramsey often says, your current financial situation is a result of your past decisions, not your future. You have the power to change. This quote encapsulates our seventh mindset shift perfectly. Finally, we've arrived at our eighth and last mindset shift, which is all about giving back to the community. This is going to be short, but really important. When you give back, you're not just helping others, you're also reinforcing your own abundance mindset. You're affirming that there's enough to go around, that you have more than enough, and that you're capable of making a difference. It's a powerful way to cultivate a sense of abundance. And here's the beautiful thing about giving back. It not only contributes to your own sense of financial abundance, but it also contributes to the financial abundance of others. It's a win-win situation. Giving back is more meaningful when it's something you're passionate about. So find a cause that resonates with you and see how you can contribute. Well, that's it for today. So what mindset shifts have you made on your journey towards financial abundance? What challenges have you faced? And how have you overcome them? Share your experiences in comments below. Before you go, don't forget to check out our recent video on six passive income streams to make money while you sleep. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.